Hi, welcome to Paw Paw's Workshop. I want to do a real quick video today and show you how I install a wall cabinet. Now the wall cabinet that I want to install used to hang over in this area and it's an oversized cabinet. Now since I removed it and remodeled the area behind me, that cabinet had just been sitting on the floor. Well, I made some room and I found a place that I want to be able to put it. So I'm going to install that cabinet today. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add on to this cabinet and make it even more useful in the shop. So let's get started. Now this is the last remaining wall space that I have in my whole entire shop. And I used to have a different type of workbench here. So this is the area that I'm going to use to put my wall cabinet. And I'm going to put it right next to the uh, central vacuum system. Normally when I hang cabinets, I like to be able to have two people to be able to do it. Especially on an oversized cabinet. But as usual in my situation, it's just me and I'm going to have to install this cabinet without any assistance. So hopefully I'm going to show you a couple of little tricks and tips along the way to be able to make it a little bit easier when you're having to install the cabinet by yourself. Now the first thing that I did is I removed all of the shelves and I moved the two drawers at the bottom out of it. So that makes the cabinet as light as possible. Now I'm not the strongest person anymore and I want to be able to make this as light as I possibly can. So basically this cabinet now is just really a shell and I'm still not going to carry it. I'm going to roll it over with this dolly and that's going to make it a lot easier to be able to move it from one side of the shop to the other. And to get the cabinet onto the dolly, I just tilted the cabinet back and shoved the dolly underneath it. Again, I'm not even picking up this portion of it. Anything that I don't have to lift, it's better for me. Now I want to show you the back of the cabinet because to prepare to hang this cabinet, it's important to know what the back is. And the backing on this is a real inexpensive, um, basically cardboard. So I cannot put the screws through that to hold anything. And in looking inside of the cabinet, the only nailer that we actually have is at the very top of the cabinet. So that is the only place that I can put screws. And you can see where I had screws before to be able to secure it to the wall. And there is nothing at the bottom of the cabinet to hold it. So my only recourse is to put the cabinet or I can secure it between two studs using this top nailer. Now to be able to determine where I want to be able to put this it is it's going to depend on the studs and I know that I have a stud right here and I have another one right here and that should be 16 inches apart and that's exactly 16 inches from there to there. Now also know that my cabinet is 24 inches. Now originally what I wanted to do is shove this all the way over as close to this as I possibly can. And to be able to do that and still catch the stud over here, I need to be, there would be the edge of the cabinet and there would be the inside. And that's about as close as I'm going to be able to do it. So that's going to be the edge of my cabinet right here. So the next thing that I want to do, I'm going to grab a level and put a plumb line up the wall. Okay, now that I have the plumb line, that's going to be the right side of my cabinet. Now I'm going to measure 
and I know from the edge of the cabinet, now that's going to be over five and a, well, six inches. So it's six inches, and then at 16 inches will be the two points that I'll actually be able to screw to. The next thing I want to determine is the height. And I have the pipe here for my central vacuum, so that's going to be a factor, so I have to be above that. So the height of my cabinet is 42 inches. So I'm going to measure out 42 inches and I want to see where that comes. Gives me a little bit of space at the top, but I don't need to have this wasted space. So I think I'm going to bring it down a little bit lower. I think I'm going to put it right in this area right here. The next thing I'm going to do is put a horizontal line and I want to make sure that that is level. Now I have two reference points, the one vertical and I also have the one horizontal to be able to give me the guidance necessary to place the cabinet. Now again because it's difficult for me to be able to lift this cabinet I have to be able to put in a nailer to be able to support the weight because it's going to be pretty much all I can do just to lift that cabinet up in position. So I'm going to place a nailer right along this area following this level line to be able to set the cabinet on to be able to install it. Now looking inside of the cabinet, this is my next step. I want to be able to do my layout lines in here so I know exactly where the screws are going to be and I'm going to pre-drill it. Now the outside of this cabinet is 5 eighths of an inch. If I measure in here, if I measure inside the cabinet, I can't go the six inches. I have to be able to subtract the five eighths of an inch. So that is actually where I want that line. And then I'm going to measure over 16 inches. And that will give me my second line. These screws can be removed. And now I want to go ahead and pre-drill up in this area to be able to have the location for the screws to be able to hold it. Okay, now that I have these marks indicating where I want to be able to have the screws, I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill it so that all I have to be able to do is set the cabinet onto the nailer and be able to screw it in. That's going to make it a lot easier. Pre-planning is the most important part of this whole cabinet installation. Now the screws that I'm going to use for this project are actually cabinet screws. And these are a number eight that's two inches, two and a half inches long. And this is what I will be able to use. And this is a very strong screw. And this will give you an up close look at what the screw looks like. I like the pan head on there because that pan head will actually help hold the cabinet. Now the nailer for this can be pretty much anything. And what I've grabbed out of my scrap bin was just a piece of small um, half inch MDF. And that's what I'm gonna use for my nailer. That will hold just fine. Now the next thing I've got to consider too is how high this is. 
I can't reach all the way to the top where I need to screw this in. So I'm going to go ahead and stage a little small step stool so that I can get up there and screw it in. Well, with all the preparations complete, there is nothing left to do now except put the cabinet on the wall. And this is the hard part for me to be able to lift this cabinet up and get it to the wall. I really wish I had some extra help, but I don't. This is where the good planning really pays off because I'm able to set this cabinet right on to that little wall cleat and it holds the weight for me. Then I can just slide it left or right as needed to be able to get right on that vertical plumb line. Then from there, the step stool is right in position so I can step up on the step stool and I can screw it into position and hold it tight. Without having a good planning, I never would have been successful at being able to do this. So this is why it's important just to think through the project and then you can amaze yourself at what you're actually able to do by yourself. Okay, the cabinet's installed. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the cabinet up now, put the drawers and shelves back in it, and we're gonna start the next phase. Oh, and by the way, the nailer strip can come out now. Now I went ahead and speeded up this process a little bit so it didn't bore you, but I wanted to be able to clean off the cabinet, clean off each of the shelves, because over the last couple of months, yeah, it's collected quite a bit of dust and that needed to go away. So each of the shelves were clean, put in position, and it's time to go ahead and start filling the shelves up. The next thing is, I wanna show you what I wanna do with the left and the right side of the cabinet. But before I show you what I do with each of the sides, it's time to be able to put the drawers in. Now the sides of the cabinet typically are always wasted, and I hate that. On the right side, next to the central vacuum, I'm going to place this jig. I don't use this jig every day, but it's great for when I do the picture framing to be able to cut perfect 45s. So that is going to be the new home for this jig. Now on the left side, that's where the fun begins. I'm going to take all of my nail guns and put them on the left side and I'm going to put them on a drawer slide where they'll actually pull out and it'll be basically a vertical shelf. You're not going to want to miss that video. So please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out. This next video is going to be a lot of fun to do. Hi everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also, check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.